Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Charles here. I just wanted to come and spread some more great knowledge on the technology of 3D printing and how far it's gone. I want to uh, talk about a product by a company called BIQU, who does uh, cryo-cooled build plates uh, in Glacier and Frostbrite. I actually have the Glacier ones right here. It's uh, advertised as more of a smoother plate compared to the Frostbrite, which is a rougher plate. But really, I really wanted to jump on here and explain to you guys how easy these things are to install. Um, there's been stuff all over the place where you need to go over here, calibrate this, change that. No, you don't really need to do all that. I tried all that, and guess what? There were a lot of adhesion issues. The easiest way to do this is if you're going to roll with the Glacier, the Smooth, then what you need to do, and I use bamboo printers, I use X1 Carbon and A1s, is you want to go on your slicer, um, and you want to calibrate your PLA to your smooth plate like you normally would do. Once your calibrations are set and done, just remove your uh, smooth plate and replace it with the glacier. Um, and then same thing with if you have a rough plate um, that's not the frostbite before you install it, what you do is you go ahead and recalibrate your PLA to that plate that you're currently using and then once you're done with the calibration, pull it off and then install the frostbite. It's that simple. I wasted a lot of time listening to other people, watching other videos, because these things don't come with any instructions at all on, you know, how or the settings or what you need to do to install. It's just a picture. And it's probably that lame and simple, and we probably overthought it. But basically, really, that's the simple thing and way to get these to work right is to recalibrate the bed plate you already have, smooth or rough, to the material you're already using. Once you're done, then swap this into place, plug and play, and there you go. I've had no issues. As a matter of fact, here's a couple of mine printing right now. You can see there's no bed issues, and that's exactly, this one is finished. That's exactly almost finished how I calibrated all mine, so... Just want to jump on real quick and let you guys know how simple and easy and don't get caught up in the hype. And also, these things are wonderful. They actually cool the, bull, the build plate down by about 10 degrees, so it helps save in energy and efficiency. After you've already calibrated your smooth plate and you put on the new BIQ plate, before you print, you want to come over here and you want to go down and select Cool Plate Super Tack. You do not want to do Cool Plate. You want Cool Plate Super Tack. It's very tacky like the material that's on that plate. 